and we are on. All right, Shalom. Which is a couple brothers here from the Great Millstone Des Moines camp. You know, we just want to start by saying, Call Halayim Le Yahawa, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rechakadash. We want to give the honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and salutations, so for elect, and the Akim, spreading his truth to the four corners of this earth. Um, now, this is just going to be a quick lesson, just land back in off of the Sunday sit down uh, yesterday, um, going into Trump Soder. All right. And when you go into that word soda in the Greek, it, it means savior or deliverer, man. And that's how these people are looking at, you know, DJ Trump, man, as the savior and deliverer, man. All right. They're refusing to turn to the Lord. All right. And they're acknowledging right, the fact that uh, whatever candidate got elected, it was Donald Trump. But whatever candidate got elected, OK, they're looking at them as their savior. OK, to, to, to make their life better, to make. To take care, to take away uh, their afflictions, man. And that's not in the plan of these elites, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, brother, want to grab uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5? This is Jeremiah 17 and 5. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, whose heart departeth from Yahweh. Right. And two thirds of our people, you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, man, your heart is departed from the Lord, man. And it says cursed, right? You are cursed for putting your trust in uh in, in man, for putting your trust in, in DJ Trump, man. All right, and it says that maketh his flesh his arms, okay. You're standing behind his policy, you're standing behind uh uh, uh America's military, all right. You're looking for um the protection, right, from uh from America, from Babylon the Great. Okay, and it's only going to lead to your downfall, man. All right. Yeah, what well, it says. Uh, Jeremiah seventeen and five. Oh, fuck. Well, you quoted it early. He that helpeth and uh, he that is hoping. Yep, I was gonna grab that. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> Isaiah, and the brother want to hold uh, thirty on deck as well. Isaiah thirty. This is uh, Isaiah, um, thirty one and verse three. It says. Now the Egyptians are men and not the most high, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall stretch out his hand, both he that falleth, uh slide it, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they shall and they shall fail together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna both fall. <laughs> they both gonna fall together, man. Um, I got one to back you up. This is Isaiah um thirty six and six. Lo thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. <clears throat> Scripture says confidence in the in the um broken tomb. Yeah, you wanna grab it? This is Proverbs 25 and 19. It says, Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to uh, go forward, man. You know, trusting in this man, man. You know, uh, this guy is the son of perdition. The Lord's planning on destroying this guy, man. So how, he he's in no position to help anybody. <laughs> Not he even, can't his, even yeah, he can't even help himself. What exactly. makes you think he's going? What makes you think it's in his plan to help you and to and to <clears throat> be right by you when he can't even help himself? Well, his plan is to go uh, go run and hide in the bunker, man, while the whole surface of the earth gets fucking scorched. <laughs> <laughs> the whole surface know? of America is, is, is going to get scorched, man. Yeah. But first, he's trying to he's trying to see if everybody. You know, he's yeah. trying to uh, uh, come down. Let's talk about him coming out with great rap. I got that. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna try to. He's gonna try to put that uh, that that seed up. You know, and everybody, man, to have full control. All right, but like it says in the book of Job, it says while he's eating his belly, his belly, uh, uh, while he before he's about to fill his belly, the Most High shall uh, rain wrath upon him. All right, so he's not gonna fulfill his 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 enterprise, man. You know, everything is gonna come to naught. You know, on the return of our Lord, Yahweh, what you got for that? Mm -hmm. right, this is Revelation 12 and verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. That's right. So he knows that he that his time is, is running low. All right. He he know these knows these things, but through his pride, he's thinking that he, he thinks that he's gonna be able to overcome. All right. He's thinking that he's gonna uh come on top. All right. The brother just mentioned how he's uh, uh gonna go into those bunkers. All mm -hmm. right. And then he's hoping to uh, uh, to come out of those bunkers, you know, uh, untouched, you know, still being able to 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 rule, man. All right, because that's his, that's his mentality, man. All right, but he he doesn't know how to rule, man. That's why the Lord is gonna uh, uh, cut off that lone disease, man. All right, him mm -hmm. it says destroy him which destroyed the earth, man. Yeah, because because it says um, if him were thought is that his house shall continue, continue forever. forever. Yep. It's not just him, you know. Even yeah. all these other heathens, two thirds of our people. They don't understand that this uh <laughs> what says uh he appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Can you grab that real quick? Yeah. As we always we mentioned <clears throat> the other day, they, they, they trusting in the house of cards. Mm -hmm. and all this but all this stuff is fickle. This is Job. Can you grab a scripture that says he shall lean upon his house? This is in Job. Go ahead. This is Job fourteen and five. It says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Keep reading. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an hireling his day. And that's what we're trying to tell our people, man, that this guy has appointed time that he cannot pass and that it's time to turn from him. All right. Turn away from him and that he may accomplish as a hireling his day. All right. Because he had a job to do, which was basically be the um, be the wicked, you know. To destroy, be the son of perdition, the son of destruction, yeah. and and Most likely. you know to be the son of destruction. All right, and now that his his job is done, yeah. well, he was the scripture says, uh, "How is the hammer of the earth broken asunder?" All right, so his job was to be the hammer of the earth. Now that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is, is sending Yahweh Shai right to uh, basically crush all these armies and bring peace, there's not going to be any need for war anymore. So he's not going to be needed anymore. He's basically served his purpose. Mm -hmm. But whatever you guys got. I got a joke for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, it backs up what the brother just said about the house of cards. But go ahead. This is Job uh, 8, <coughs> verse 15. It says, he shall lean upon his house. Read up one. Read up one. Um, mm -hmm. This is Job 8 and 14. It says, whose hope shall be shall be cut Read off. Read up one more. Salak. Yeah. This is the Job 8 and verse 13. It says, so are the paths for all they that forget the most high. <laughs> And the hip Read that one more. It's a lot here, bro. Um, There's one more, bro. Okay. Uh, this is verse 12. Yeah. It says, while, it's Job 8 and 12. It says, while, it is, while it, it it is, is green in his greenness. Well, read that one more. It's a lot Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Sorry about Job that. Job 8 and verse 11. It says, can the rush <laughs> grow up grow up without mire? Yeah. Can the flag grow Without water, mm -hmm. while while it's, is yet it is yet in his greenness, greenness and not cut down. Yeah, you know, because he's green right now. He's in that green tree. You know, we're in a green tree right now, which is withering. But you go ahead. It, says, <clears throat> it withereth before before any other herb. Mm -hmm. So are the paths of all that forget the Most High, mm -hmm. and the hypocrite's hope shall perish. Yeah, the hypocrite's hope shall shall perish, man. All right, and these uh, Babylonians, they're seeing all their hopes flee away, man. Go ahead. It says in verse 14, um, whose, whose hope shall be cut off and whose trust shall be a spider's web. Whose trust shall be a spider's web. So the things you trust in is going to be like a damn cobweb, man. Trust. Yeah, when you see a cobweb, there's nothing in that web, man. That's some shit that you see in an abandoned building or, you know what I mean? Your hope is going to be abandoned because that's what a uh, a cobweb is. A cobweb is a web that's been abandoned right. by the by the by the builder, by the former occupant. Okay, all right. But uh, they got a saying in uh, it's a Dante's Inferno, and like uh, supposedly in hell, right? The Catholic hell, you know, which doesn't exist, by the way. But uh, in the entrance in Dante Inferno, there's supposed to be a sign that says "Abandon all hope." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no hope here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the hypocrite's hopes just gonna fail, you know. But you got it. 
This is verse 15. You want to say something? Yeah, if it, uh, you can finish that, and then I'll get mine. All right, so verse 15, Job 8, 15, it says, He shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand. He shall hold it fast, but it shall not endure. Yeah, you know, the brother brought up the house of cards, man. So he shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand, man. So everybody that leans upon this house is going to fall, man. All right. Everybody who leans, leans upon this government, everybody that leans upon Esau, that uses him for that staff, like that broken reed in Egypt that we, that we read that already, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to fail you. It's going to, that staff you lean on is going to break. It's going to pierce you, meaning you're going to get that MOTB for you that trust in this government because that's where this place is going. Scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil, while some cover the after uh, have pierced, pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So you're literally going to be pierced, you're pierced, man, you know? Right. Uh, you know? But uh, you go ahead. Uh, that was it on that? Uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, this is uh, Romans 9 <clears throat> and 20. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. It's uh, Romans 9 and 17. It says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. <clears throat> and just grabbing this example, because America is the modern day Egypt, going tying it to uh, Revelations 11 and 8, it speaks about that place that's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And this is what our people is trusting in, is this, is this, uh, is America. It's a bondage, it's oppression. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, they get, our people have gotten caught up in how high the how high happened to uh Pharaoh during the time of Egypt, the Lord brought him down with those great plagues, and it's just tying it into today because it's the same thing that's going to take place. These this, these people is getting caught up in how much power Esau is accumulating, and and so on and so forth. But the Lord's about to make an example out of this place and bring Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathens down. <clears throat> I got one real quick. <clears throat> it's Proverbs 12 and 12. The wicked desire of the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. And as the scripture says, among my people are found, along my people are found uh, wicked men. And the wicked of our people, they desire to be ruled over by evil men. You know, <clears throat> but what do we? Yeah, this is a precept, just a backup uh what you were saying, how this place is, is, is going to be cast down. Um, this is Revelations 18 of verse 21. It says, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is how this place is going down, with violence, man. And those that trust in this place, those that has their uh, allegiance in this place, man, you're going to meet the same fate as the rulers. Um, they that take hold of a side do find it. Okay, you know, as it says in uh, Proverbs no, 16 and 5. Can't grab it to the other page. As it says in Proverbs 16 and 5, I'm going to grab that while he uh, gets that precept. This is Proverbs 16 and verse 5. It says, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Though hand join in hand, he should mm -hmm. not be unpunished. So you want to join hands <clears throat> with this place, man. You want to join hands with um um with Babylon. All right, you're gonna fall with Babylon, okay? As the scripture says, man, though hand join in hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, he should not be unpunished. Right? So two thirds of our people, man, you got something coming, man, for uh, uh, trusting in man for trusting in this place, man, and not returning on, uh, not returning back to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shad, man. Right, because Christian says that the time is gonna come when we shall no more stay upon yeah, him. That's that. uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, uh, can, can he can he bring this out first, and then yeah, can he can he bring this out first? This is Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon two and twenty four. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil. Came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do, and they that do hold of his side do find it. And just like the brother said, man, you know, you taking uh, 
because it's Chris Habakkuk, the second chapter, it says he is as death, man, that cannot be satisfied. So you taking hold of his side, you taking hold of his hand. Well, as you make, as Chris says, they made a covenant with death yeah. and with hell are they at, uh, with agreement, man. So basically that's who you siding with death, man. So what are you going to get on your return, man? Because what did Yahweh Shai said? He said, I come that they may have life, but that they may have it more abundantly. You'll take a hold of the man who come to do nothing but to steal, kill, and destroy, man. All right? So what do you think he's going to do, man? You befriended a monster, man. But you got it. Right, that's just like, all these, all, that's just like majority of our people, you know, that decided to go vote. All right, they was having, they was, that's, that's, here it is, you're voting for somebody to be over you. You're voting for to have somebody rule over you. All right. <clears throat> but once again, going back, going to this uh, Isaiah 10 and 20, we're not going to trust upon our oppressors, man. All right. We're not going to tr trust upon these uh these uh these uh guys that they have set up to 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 be established over us, man. Now we're gonna trust in Yahweh Bashi And if I could before you bring that priest up, if I could just say you know, when you go into that word vote, on the uh, the etymon of that word vote is a, a pledge to a God, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with you voting, right, you're that's you making a pledge um, to 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 make uh, whatever candidate gets in office your God, man. Mm -hmm. Which is why the term Trump soldier, right, the Trump deliverer, Trump savior, right, you you elected Trump to be your savior, man. Your deliverer, you're putting your trust. In uh, uh, in him, mm -hmm. right? But the but the but the elect is not going to uh is not going to stay upon us. We're not going to trust in this place, man. This is Isaiah ten and twenty. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, which is the elect, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Right, because we're just talking about how we would be we were fed. Uh, from the face of the serpent, how we go to him for the one of all things. You know, right now, you know, we rely on jobs and this uh, fiat currency. You know, we go to the grocery store, <clears throat> like, you know, you know, regular citizens. But we understand that a time is coming where all of those things are going to get cut off, or especially when they transfer into the MOTB. That's the time, like, you know, like the other Yashawamba says, we're going to have to step out on faith. Yeah. All right. It's just going to be you, you and your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai at that point, man. Yeah. And at that point, we're going to just have to stay up on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai for everything we need, man. Because yeah. that's the hour of temptation that, I, that we need to get delivered from, you know. He's going to use these natural resources as a weapon, as he does everything, as he has always done, and weaponize it against the people, all right, which he's already doing, like I said. But he's going to really cut these people off, man. It's going to be a, a, you know, sort of like a siege, pretty much, you know. He, and you're going to be left with the ultimatum, whether you're going to take this MOTB or, or you, you're not going to um, be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to go to my uh, <clears throat> grocery stores and walk out with a bag of food. All right? But we understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is in control of everything. And that's what we have to know. We have to believe that, man. You know? But you got it. Yeah, it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped from the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord the Holy One of Israel in truth. All right. And uh, when you go into the word stay in the blue letter, all right, uh, it means to lean on, trust in, support. Mm -hmm. All right. And and that's that's who we this this is who we put our our trust in, man. Yahweh Shah. All right. Uh, the, the, uh, we don't we don't we don't trust in our enemies, man. The Lord says uh it says never trust our enemy, man. Okay. Cause we know mm -hmm. we know how this devil is operating. We know how this devil is moving, and it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. The Lord gave us the the uh, <clears throat> uh, the forerunner, you know, for lack of better words, of how this devil operates. All right, what it says in the Book of Psalms, it says, uh, "How's how his words are smoother than butter, mm -hmm. are but wars in his heart." All right, we know that he's a liar. It says uh, in another verse in the Book of Psalms is that it says that how he is born speaking lies. Okay, mm -hmm. 
So we already know how this devil get down, man. He's going to feed two-thirds of our people with that bullshit, all right? But the elect, Lord's will, we're part of that number. We're not going to uh, 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 we're not going to trust and lean upon his uh, his ideas or his plans, you know, so on and so forth, man. Yeah, because we believe the Lord to give us and can and will give us the strength, you know, yeah. to endure the hour of temptation, you know. <clears throat> it's, it's Isaiah 30 <clears throat> in verse 1 it's lucky <clears throat> it says woe to the rebellious children saith Yahweh that take counsel but not of me right and that's what you're doing uh, you're taking you're taking counsel not of the Lord right but of man right by going out by voting mm -hmm. okay by motherfucking uh, making uh, putting your trust right putting your allegiance in this place it says, but not of me, and cover cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Mm -hmm. right? And it says, whoa, yeah. right? So ultimately, man, destruction is coming on to you, all right, for taking counsel that's not the Lord, okay, for looking for for looking for a covering that's not the Lord's spirit, man. Yeah, for um, you know, seeking um. Well, scripture says we look for a nation that could not save us, man. You know, you're looking for your lovers to help you, man. And then and, and they're gonna seek your life in these last days, man. You know, and that's what's gonna happen to you, man. Everybody who trusts in this in this place, man, you, you're gonna be um disappointed, man. Disappointed. We're out here warning you of what's what's about to take place. What's, what the Lord's about to bring, how the Lord is going to send, uh, put the spirit on these devils to, to come down with that great wrath. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's up to, to the two-thirds of our people to, to repent, you know? Because as the scripture says, it says repent or likewise perish. <clears throat> we're, we're letting you know the things that come to get the blood off our hands, as it says in the book of Ezekiel, all right? Mm -hmm. and, but but if you refuse, that's going to be on you, all right? Because mm -hmm. you, you've been warned, you've been told, you've been given the instructions, all right, to, to turn back to Yahweh Shemelsha. All right, but what it says in the book of Zechariah, it says how they pulled the shoulder, they stopped their ear from hearing the <clears> words. All right? And so so judgment, uh, like I said, woe unto you, all right, that trust in uh, go down to Egypt for help, or uh, that was Isaiah that you was reading, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's what it said, go down go down to Egypt for help, because this is modern-day Egypt, all right? So you, that was you, actually the next verse to lock you. The next one, oh, well, con, you know, so, hey, you... You know, you, you want to trust in Egypt, you're going you gonna to get, uh, you're going to be uh, destroyed, man. You know, you got to go. It's like, mm -hmm. uh, this is the next verse, it says, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. That's right. It's like, man. Cause that's going back to that uh, that Romans that you read that you read earlier. All right, how the Lord is going to raise up uh, 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 the Pharaoh, uh, raise up Pharaoh. All right, that He might show His power, that His name might be declared in all the earth. Mm -hmm. We we read about and we speak about what the things that happened in ancient Egypt. All right, so we like so. What do you think is going to happen in, in today's modern day Egypt, man? All right, spiritually Egypt, spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt, man. All right, the mm -hmm. Lord's going to come down with what we read about in the Second Edges. All right, it says that uh, people are going to be running into people's houses for the lack of bread, <coughs> great tribulation. You know, <coughs> paraphrasing. All right, the Lord says that He's going to be sending play of uh, uh, pestilence, all right, famine, uh, death, and destruction. You know, yeah, 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 great earthquake. You know, so all these things are about to take place. All right, and the, and the prophets are out here uh, warning you that things will come, man. You know, yeah, and this this fucking devil, he came. He can't save you he from can't save none, you of from none of the things, none of the plagues that the Lord is going to bring upon this earth, man. Your best mm -hmm. bet is to return to the Lord, man. Yeah. As it says, it's and I believe in, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the only, only bet, bet. right? I, I, um, as it says in this, um, I just grab real quick Isaiah 55 and verse uh, 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, while he, while, while he may be found. Call you upon no, he said, him. It says, "Seek the Lord, not seek a, a, a new president, or seek this or seek that." No, we gotta seek Yahweh Shai. 
uh, as it says in uh, that Brute Four and Twenty Eight. It was it was our minds to go and stray until being returned, seek him ten times more. <coughs> All right, let me just uh, reread it from the top again. It says, "Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts." And let him return unto the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. He will abundantly pardon. Okay. Yeah. And 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 and, and huh, repent. True repentance, man, and seeking mm -hmm. the, and seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, a better in that relation, better in your relationship with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything outside of that? Any, anything else is, is death. It reminds me of that that parable. Uh, I was watching the, the Dallas Bowls earlier, uh, and they was going into it that <coughs> parable in Matthew seven. It spoke about that house that was built upon the sand. Mm -hmm. Right, it's built upon the wrong foundation. So when those what when those floods came and those and that wind blew, uh, so on and so forth. It says great was the fall of that house. Yep. So we have to be founded. Upon you, how about Shimon Shai, his words and his ways and what he told us to do? We 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 found our foundation is Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Shai. Mm -hmm. We're not trusting in nothing else to uh, keep us stable in these times or in any other times. Yeah, because it says what wisdom and knowledge to be the stability of our times and the fear of the Lord is the strength of our salvation. All right, so that's what we trust in, there, man. All right, all this other shit, presidents. Presidential see and all this other bull crap, FRNs. We all know that all that shit is gonna. Uh, uh, when when the times come, all that shit is gonna be nothing but vain. Yeah, it says riches profit not in the day of uh, in the day yeah. of wrath, but righteousness, righteousness delivered from death. Yep, yeah, righteousness delivered from death. All right, so we're not trusting in the riches of uh, of this current society, current yeah, rulership, or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, we're not trusting in. Uh, uh, the presidents, once again, you know, we're not trusting yeah. in our enemies. We're so not trusting in together, none of these things. We're not even trusting in ourselves. We're, we're only trusting in Yahweh Shemal Shah. Yeah. You know, Warren and, Jacob. Yep. 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 I was, I will, I will, uh, save thee. This is Psalm 60 and 11. Give us help from trouble, for, for vain is the help of man. That's a cool piece. Yeah, man. Vain is the help of man, man. It's gonna be Yahweh by Shimi Shah, you know, Yahweh Yahweh sending Yahweh Shah to deliver the elect, man. <clears throat> He's the kinsman's re redeemer. He's the one who um he was that angel that was sent, you know, during the first Exodus. And that's who's coming to get the elect out of here. Now, Lord willing, we be of that uh, number. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um <clears throat> anything else? <clears throat> so Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, we just want to end off by saying Call Halayim Le Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachabalash. We want to give the honors to the apostles and elders of the Muslim, mm -hmm. the people's citations, so forth, like an eye can express truth to the four corners of this earth. Shalom. Shalom.